Welcome back and thank you very much indeed. <coughs> Sorry about that. The business funder says market to strengthen, move to strengthen financial sustainability. Vice President launches sustainable banking principles and year of return stimulates increased arrivals. Huge support for 600 women entrepreneurs with disability. The Daily Guide. Commander Sugar Factory debate renewed. Court boots Equiadonko over Nana Baumia to cough up 10,000 Ghana cities. Yoko dismisses Domelovo claim and Yonkopa uh, fights unicorn for 1.24 uh, million Ghana cities. New twist in the Oponi trial. The Ghanaian Times, police honor eight falling heroes. Business Development Ministry supports 50 disabled women uh, entrepreneurs. I would, I would wish they had written uh, fiscally challenged. SC throws out contempt case against President Akufuado. And um, the Daily Graphic, Weldaf calls for anti-sexual harassment policy. We won't go beyond past credit, says Smith. And clearing agents importers fight MPs. The alleged fees are charged for no work done. The back page says Parliament approved 200 million Ghana dollars Ghana IDA loan agreement. And Unicom Chemist is donated to some three institutions. My guest this morning, the Honorable Bernard Okoboy. He is also a medical doctor and uh, the Member of Parliament for the Lejokuku constituency in the Greater Accra region. He's here on the ticket of the MPP. His people call him Lejokuku Jay-Z. Uh, good to see you, Doc. Welcome. Board Chair. How are you, sir? My brother. Yes, sir. By the grace of God, everything yeah, is fine. fine. Yes, I was calling you. Oh. Kolebu is calm. Okay. Yeah, Kolebu is calm. We are, we are <coughs> steadily uh, making that progress to make sure that when you get there, you'll be taken care of. Okay. Yeah. The Honorable uh, Samuel Okujetua Blakwa is the ranking member of the Foreign Affairs Committee of Parliament and is also the member of parliament for the North Tom constituency. Chief, welcome. How are you Thank doing? You. I, I like to call Good. him Presido because he was my nooks president. So, <laughs> Presido, how are you? Very fine. Good Everything to see you. Okay. Great. How, how are the people? Good. I'm learning from you. I'm learning from you. No, brown, brown is one of my favorite colors. So. <laughs> I see. Amazing. I like how you put it together. Thank you very much. Doc, let's start uh, with you. But first, let's take a look at um, a conversation that we started here on the 20, um, some 22 days ago, on the 6th of November asking for the ambulances parked at the frontage of the state house, this parliament house, to, to be moved and distributed with alacrity. Take a look at the story. We'll return. We'll have a conversation. Petra Afran Plains is one of the country's deprived districts. With no district health facility, the over 34,000 residents here rely on the St. Vincent Clinic and drop on so for healthcare services. Emergency cases are referred to the Agogo Presby Hospital or the Akonfo Anochi Teaching Hospital in Kumasi. These two facilities are over 60 kilometers away from Dobonso. The entire district has no ambulance station to deal with emergency cases. An improvised ambulance which used to transport patients from the satellite communities has broken down. On Friday, November 22, a pregnant woman who required emergency care at the Akoko Hospital lost her life due to delay in transporting her. They referred the case at 6 a.m. They couldn't get any vehicle. They went to the station to hire a, or to rent a vehicle, but they couldn't get. They reached there, I think it was getting to 12 uh, in the afternoon, and the, the, the case just passed out. Some residents share their frustrations. If there is a case and you have to be transferred or referred, you have to go for a vehicle, which costs a lot. So if we are able to get an ambulance, it can help us a lot. You need ambulance back or crowd. And the other said, then I say, yeah, power bunch was ambulance now to tell go on. Yeah, panachawa on the oma you move back up. We are appealing to government to get an ambulance for the district. The Setra Front Plains District Director of Health Services, Dr. Ofosukwabi Nasa, said they are efforts to get an ambulance for the district. It is not every condition that can be your motorbike or bicycle, but because you don't have, people are forced to. This year, when the president came here, 
it was discussed with the Director General. He promised that they will provide us a polyclinic. That one, it will go with the ambulance. But until an ambulance is provided for the district, patients in dire need of emergency medical services will continue to rely on motorbikes and public transport. And uh, that was a, com a story from Setre East in the Ashanti region. But the General Secretary of the Ghana Medical Association, Dr. Yangson, has also been speaking on this matter. Take a listen to him quickly. We have a strategic plan or policy document which will ensure that we cross all the T's and dot all the I's so that the interlinkages will be well perfected. And then we can all say that Indeed, we have a good emergency medical service. We need to take a holistic approach, commit a lot more resources into emergency medical services generally. He explained, ideally, every district should have an emergency physician, but that is not the case. We should be able to have as many as can cover the entire country. It's not only about doctors, there are other supporting staff, so nurses, you know, so the entire human resource will have to be, you know, improved. But there's a huge deficit when it comes to the emergency physician, the emergency doctors proper, and we need to deal with it. Reacting to the ambulance distribution saga, Dr. Yangson indicated the right thing should be done. The issue of distribute, not to distribute, I think we should not play politics with it. We should allow the ministry and the ambulance service to get it right and do what is right for our people. But the call to the powers that be, i.e. the ministry and the ambulance service is that because we need these services as much as possible, where some of these things can be fast-tracked, they should fast-track them. For him, even though ambulances play an important role in emergency healthcare delivery, there's more to it citing trained personnel and good roads. Welcome back. You can always join us with your thoughts and comments here on TV3 New Day, 0202166633. Doc, let me start with you. You're a board chairman for Kolebu. You're a medical doctor practicing, and you're also a member of parliament. What are your initial thoughts about our campaign <coughs> to get the ambulances, the 98 so far packed uh, at the parliament, not to wait for it, all three, three or seven, but to move the 98 ASAP today, today, today. What are your thoughts? Um, first of all, let me say a very good morning to all of you, especially to my, my constituents um, watching from the Legend Kuku constituents and to my senior. You know, Sam is my senior in Presec. Oh, okay. They're gone. Yeah. So once, uh, Obia on the master. Yeah. Once you are with your senior, you have to, it have doesn't to be, change, you know. I have no <laughs> we have, <laughs> we, we have a senior in common. Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. And, um, yeah. So, first of all, let me say that as a country, we have a lot to do when it comes to emergency care. Mm -hmm. And, um, the bottom line is that you need a lot of training, logistics as well as infrastructure mm -hmm. to make sure emergency care works well training in terms of the policy mm -hmm. to train both drivers ambulance doctors attitude everything mm -hmm. you need logistics like the ambulances mm -hmm. like the uh, how do you call it defibrillators mm -hmm. all the things you need in an emergency station and the third one is the infrastructure mm -hmm. what is the nature of the road that goes to the place how do you assess a hospital when you have to travel is there a lane for emergency lane there are a lot of things but we take it step by step. Okay. Look, I wrote what Dr. Mines' colleague uh, Yangtzin said. Mm. We've got to get it right. Right. We should allow the government to make sure that they get things right. Mm. A, a, a short background to this ambulances issue. You know, if you watch or you study, this country has imported ambulances over the years. Right. Some fiats came, mm -hmm. maybe 200, 300. Yeah. Within some three, four years, my brother, all packed. Yeah. It's sad. You see them rotting away. Then some VWK. Yeah. Yeah. Within two, three years, all packed. Mm -hmm. That is millions of dollars. It actually has about 55 of those running. Exactly. Out. 100 of them are grounded. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the irony is that 
those who produce ambulances, mm -hmm. they don't produce ambulances from the word go. They take the van, okay. which has been produced by a company. So mm -hmm. normally you choose whether I want to use a Mercedes, a Fiat, okay. a VW. And then when they take them, then they would do the installation and the, okay. the, the setup. Right. Yes. I'm saying this because you can see that that van, mm -hmm. someone bought that van for another purpose, and it's been used for 15 years. Right. How come when we use it for ambulance purposes, within two, three years, it's gone? So all I'm trying to say, we have to learn from our past experiences mm -hmm. to ensure that when we invest millions of dollars, mm -hmm. at least we can have them for a minimum period of seven to 10 years, okay. which is the average lifespan of an ambulance. Mm -hmm. Most of them are off the uh, road, not because they've, uh, they had accidents, but engine problems yes, exactly so I, I checked last year and yes. this year as well the hundred that yeah. we had at the time yeah. procured yeah. by john Bahama and his yeah. team yeah had engine problems exactly so we parked them yes and only yes. 55 yes. Are running. so so look i agree with you asap we must get these ambulances to places where they are needed but the question is that when you say as soon as possible it's a it's an indirect admission that there are a few things that must be done mm. but they should be expedited we're, we're saying that ambulances now, that's our hashtag. No, no, no. You see, but, but we, that's why I give it, but we must be careful. Mm -hmm. Number one, you can, you can be hasty and let it go. And within a few years, they are gone. Because you, you didn't take the, the, you didn't put in place maintenance or surveillance measures. Mm -hmm. It's not an excuse also for unnecessary delay. I, I want us to have them. When, when I started yeah. this car, I thought Dr. Yeah. Clementa Park yes. and uh, Mr. E.C. Were, were here yeah. when I started the conversation. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then I asked the question whether whether or not the ambulances were for decoration. No, this no. is why they are parked there. Yeah. And then the day after that, I had a chance to MC the Orbis Flying Eye event at yes. the airport. Yes. And I met the minister. I MC'd it. Mr. Kofiada made a request on the platform. So I also asked the question as MC on the same platform. His response to me was that we had to wait for all the 307 because there are yeah. some of the ICs. Yeah. And as of now, they don't know where to take which ambulance to because then it will mean that we're scrambling for food yeah. that we hadn't had for a long time. Yeah. And the fact that the president will have to cut a tape yeah. for a ceremony for yeah. it to come. Yeah. Then how Akumsi makes a statement to say, 2020, Wait, people are dying anyway, so people die I, every day. I, 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 yeah. Then we will have now three days after. Yeah. Uh, well, on the same day, the minority uh, spoke, the minister, because I told Komla he was in parliament yeah. to check. And then subsequently, after three days, we started hearing about tracking device, yeah. it was not ready, yeah. contractor had not handed it over, and yeah. all of that. So if I'm juxtaposing everything that's been said, to the initial remark by the Minister for Health. Yeah. It, 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 it brings you, a lot you. of I questions into you know, my mind. You know, what exactly yeah. is holding the Johnny, ambulances there? Johnny, you know, psychologically, when you see ambulances parked and you have issues with transportation of patients in emergency situations, naturally what comes to you is that this ambulance should go. They should go to where they are needed. Because that is what it is. Yeah, I understand. Ambulance comes from Johnny. the word ambulé, no, no, which no. means to move about. No, no, I know. But, Johnny, I think we should also, we should make it balanced. I'm with you. But we should also let our viewers understand that when you purchase items for such a use, there are a few things you go through. You agree with me that mm. it would be weird or strange to take an ambulance straight from the port and it drives straight to, let's say, Lekman Hospital. Mm. At least the one receiving it right. must make sure that they've gotten what they paid for. You understand? Mm -hmm. After pay in fact, the, the, the ones procured during end is, uh, the end is the time, it took an inspection by the ambulance service okay. to say that this is not fit for purpose. Right. If that had not been done, and they are driven the ambulances straight away to Lekman Hospital, I always use Lekman, that's where I am, it is possible that it will fail in this usage. Right. Only for us to realize that, oh, we've even committed ourselves. And they have to come in. Uh, no, exactly. So, my point is that I agree with you. Uh, ASAP, mm -hmm. even if initially we had a plan to get all 360, what I would recommend, or would get closer to the minister and talk, talk to him, recommend to him, is that let's have a map where if one is verified as okay for use, it should go. But you, you are yeah. a medical doctor. Yes. You are board chairman of a hospital, yeah. Uh, yeah. teaching a hospital. Is it the fact that we do not know where to take which ambulance? Because I know that you have weekly reports, yeah. monthly, quarterly, biannual, and annual reports. In fact, because of the, the policy, that brought in these ambulances. We actually know where they are supposed to go. Right. Each constituency is supposed to go, have one. You understand? Mm. 
if it comes to the i've not cited the details of the you know i have the umbrella some uh, so let me <laughs> not use the umbrella i have the overall plan okay of the, the elephant the, plan. yes i have the elephant plan okay which says that every constituency should get one but the breakdown okay. as to whether it lands, like in Lejokuku, right. whether it lands at the Lekma Hospital, okay. at the District Health, DHMT, District mm. Health Management mm. Office, okay. or at the Teshi Community Clinic. Okay. I don't have, you how don't have it, the, exactly. the detail. But the point is that we know every constituency should get one. But we have 275 constituencies. Okay. But what I know is that over 300 ambulances 307. Seven, seven yeah. are being brought. What it means is that there will be other places where ambulances will be placed. My point is that you can always review an implementation process. Okay. What I encourage is that we should review the implementation so that we don't wait for all the 360. You understand? I'm, I'm, 307. I, sorry, all the 307. I stand to be corrected. It is possible that maybe it's the full complement. You need some things uh, done and it's possible they can be done only with the full complement. But if there is not such a situation, mm -hmm. I'm with you. How, we should how, have a how, do we, how do we put the two together? So the minister yeah. also, yeah. in his direct response to me, says that if there's an emergency, yeah. uh, they can move the ambulances. So when, when, I always make this example yeah. of Akachi yeah. and Accra. Somebody makes a call from Akachi yeah. that there's an emergency. Yeah. How long it takes to move it from here to Akachi and back you know, uh, it, itself some, is, is problematic. See, and then I will ask this, the next question. Um, I, this is back, a background. But my question is, is this a big campaign promise yeah. that you are now fulfilling? after two, three years. Yeah. Did we not envisage that we could achieve it, which is why we had to train people, yeah. which is why we had to ready the, the, the suppliers yeah. to install? I, mean, I doubt the procurement yeah. process takes two years. You know, um, what Dr. Yangsin uh, said, if you listen to him, mm. his position is close to yours, and I want to take that one. To be honest with you, as for my Akando, he is the ranking member right. for health. Mm. <clears throat> some of the things they, they said or went to do, to be honest, there was some level of politicking involved. Okay. It's like, okay, you brought the ambulances, but go ahead, take them to where they are needed. So that if you don't do it now, okay. even if you have genuine things you have to do, it will be like, later should you bring it, you would have been it would have been diffused. There will be no politics. So there was some level of politics. Okay. Maybe from our end. If anyone says that, okay, we are waiting for 2020 or anything, you might also suspect some politics. But I want to take the grounds of what Dr. Dr. Yankee said. Right. That, look, these ambulances must go, but he admits that we should get it right before okay. he steps out there. Okay. And he added also that ASAP, we must roll them out. Right. If it's possible to roll out without waiting for all 307, let's do the rollout. That is my position okay. too. And um, we should also be careful, like I said, if we are driven the ones imported some years ago straight to the usage points. We would have committed money only to realize that we had ambulances that were not fit for purpose. Okay. So, uh, uh, please, even no matter how passionate we are about saving lives, we must also uh, let our viewers or listeners know that mm -hmm. there are a few steps that you go through to get a product you've ordered released. 22 days. Uh, and this was... These 22 days that I'm talking about yeah. was because I went to the Ghana's Most Beautiful grand finale to MC it, and yeah. I saw them there. Yeah. But my information is that they've been there longer than the 22 days that I started right. that campaign. They, they must, we so must, how yeah. long does it take for us yeah. to, to get it right? That's my question. Yeah, yeah. What, what I'll encourage the ministry to do, what I'll encourage them, you see, I say it all the time, when you disseminate information adequately and timely, it saves you a lot of uh, I'll not say bad press, but it saves mm. you a lot of questions and pressure. If we get one page document from the ministry saying that validation of the ambulance, having met specs okay. that the Ghana government paid for, okay. takes, let's say, 48 hours, which is two days. Inspecting and making sure that oxygen is in the cylinders okay. takes another one day. Uh, going through the, the movement from parliament to where it will be used. Okay. takes four days. Okay. And the complete set is 21 days. Then everybody knows okay. that within these 21 days, move the car. Right. But as we speak, we don't have such a detailed process. Even the health committee in parliament, the committee on health oh, in parliament. Like I said, we have the, um, the elephant uh, <laughs> arrangement, which okay. is every constituency will get one. But the details, 
would come from the ministry. But, but this situation yeah. should be of interest to your committee. No, 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 no. The minority side have spoken. Yeah. Yeah. But what, what is it? What no, do no. you know as a committee? Quickly in and fact, then some will come. In fact, as a committee, there are two things. Okay. The first one is to uh, discourage our friends on the committee on the other side to make it a national discussion okay. and not to bring the issue of because it's in your manifesto, you want to do it to That takes away the substance. The second one... That, that's the indication we get from how I come saying no, no, Minister but, for Special Initiative. No, no, no. But that's what I'm saying. That's the indication we got. It was triggered also by previous discussions where you have minorities saying, okay, it's 2020, you're waiting. Let's take away, let's make it national, mm -hmm. like the way Dr. Yancy and you are discussing. And then the other, so the second one as a committee we're interested in is we've gotten closer to the ministry. Okay. And we've encouraged them to possibly have a rollout plan okay. which can start ASAP like you put it okay. and not wait for all the 307. Right. So yeah. please step in for me at this point. Your side has made a very strong uh, indication on this. You gave the, the government three days ultimatum I remember some two weeks ago to move the ambulances, but they are still there. What say you? Well, thank you very much. Uh, let me convey morning greetings to our viewers. It's good to see my brother, Dr. Kubo, your good self. And uh, let me extend warm regards to my constituents in North Tong. Um, it's interesting that we in North Tong, uh, over the last two years, have managed to uh, procure three uh, new ambulances on your own on our own wow. and, uh, and they are functioning and we are taking emergency health care seriously um, you would find one at the job on health center the mm -hmm. second one is at the tagaji mm -hmm. uh, polyclinic and the third one is at the famous bato uh, catholic hospital right. uh, where i mean i, I always um, praise the health officials there they're doing a fantastic job and, and so i'm always happy to uh, serve them and to you know help us ass assist them by providing the equipment the uh, tools that they need you know to save lives M i mean my brother we should be very candid and sincere about this discussion you see these are the matters that give politicians a bad name mm -hmm. and it makes the public lose confidence in um uh, in, in, in politicians generally. And I am deeply, deeply saddened mm -hmm. by this development and the way government officials have spoken to this matter of the ambulances. Ambulances are for emergency mm -hmm. health care. We know that our country, mm -hmm. we have not put in place the systems mm -hmm over the years, over the decades, that will, uh, as it were, um, make the delivery of healthcare, mm -hmm. saving lives, mm -hmm. top notch, so that you have districts in this country that do not have district hospitals, right. that do not have you know, standard health centers and all of that. And, and, and so it makes the need mm -hmm. to be able to evacuate and and send, you know, our compatriots mm. to the nearest okay. decent health facility, mm. you know, very imperative. And over the years, we have tried to provide these ambulances, as um, Doc said, gave mm. you the, uh, what has been done over the years. And, and, I, and I was expecting that we will have improved yes. on this emergency <coughs> response mm. plans, so that even the whole concept mm. of importing ambulances at the national level. Mm. Look at what we have achieved in North Tong. Right. Isn't it possible to have a decentralization program yeah. so that every district will be charged with improving their emergency health systems? And how can we also bring in, you know, private actors right. so that they can work elsewhere? You have... Um, private actors who have gone into health delivery. Okay. Um, so uh, if you need an ambulance, there's a number to call. Even right. there's a pool, mm. you know. So once you call that number, they look into the system yeah. and they see which one is closer to your right. district and Absolutely. all of that. So a command center. A command of. center. So we can use modern technology, you know, and creativity mm. to really improve 
on, 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 on health delivery. We want to be stuck in our old ways of doing things. And even with that, we are not doing it efficiently. How do you look, mean? look, my brother, it was in the 2017 State of the Nation address that the president indicated that uh, these ambulances will be procured. Right. Many deadlines have been missed mm -hmm. subsequently. I would have expected that once you place an order mm. for these 307 ambulances. Right. All the excuses we are hearing today that we need to train the drivers, mm. we need to train paramedics, and we need to get trackers and all of that. These are things that could have been done in the intervening period that you have ordered the ambulances and you are waiting for the ambulances to arrive. In fact, by you, Monday, you, 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 sorry you, to cut mm -hmm. you, but 2,153 mm -hmm. people graduated from mm -hmm. the King Castle mm -hmm. training yes, place. Yes, so yes, that's why I say the you know, logic so, of you we know, need so, to train. Yeah, yeah, so, so, so you see, these are, these, are, these are just excuses that are not tenable. And then, and then you see, when there is public outrage, mm -hmm. people are... Because look, emergencies can happen to any of us at any time. Right. You know? And if you, if you see some of the stories, look at, you know, TV3 Zone's story. Mm -hmm. And I must commend you for this, you know, sustained campaign. Um, I have seen stories where, I mean, pregnant women who have complications during delivery are put on motorbikes. Yeah. That's the country we live in. Some are put on pickups if they are lucky. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the back of a, of, 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 of a pickup truck, okay. you know, the bucket. And they have to, you know, <laughs> manage with it. And, 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 and so many of them do not make it, do not survive. So there can be no justification. And then when the whole minister is called to explain this, instead of, you know, uh, uh, being contrite and showing, you know, uh, responsibility and you know, showing that you value human life, then you say that, oh, people die anyway. It, it, look, if elsewhere, mm -hmm. the Honorable Minister for... Uh, special, special development issue. initiatives will have resigned that day or be fired where standards are high and I mean a public officer you see you you cannot speak that way we have we have entrusted in your hands our lives our 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 national development mm. everything that will improve the living conditions of the people and so you cannot speak in a reckless irresponsible the, manner. Doc says she was pushed uh, no matter by the politicking that that your side started. You know, I, I'm not I, I, justifying your comments. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah, saying. I'm not yeah. saying. You know, but that, I'm that, saying that that, that, that can no, be no justice. And, and, and you see, if they really have not listened to the thing, mm -hmm. but if those comments came from here, they were not healthy. They are not uh, justifiable. Okay. Yes, but I just said that the politics the in the discussion okay. started because of. But in terms of those words or phrases, it's not to say people die anyway. Right. That is very. That's an yeah. unfortunate People die every day. Like I don't know whether she said it, but if she, she said, said so, it, no, I've, I've, I've yes. listened to the tape. Yeah. She, she said it. You, you cannot speak that way. You cannot speak that way. And check the Afro barometer. Check all the surveys. You know, public confidence in politicians is waning, and 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 such conduct, such comments, mm. do not help matters. You you cannot speak that way. And as we speak, she has not apologized. She's still at post. And, and, and it's, it's as though, you know, it is acceptable. You, you cannot. It's, 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 it's totally reckless to speak that way. Then, you see, I do not accept this claim that, oh, the minority is politicizing this matter. Are you not? We are not. Look, how many months have those ambulances been packed? We have been discussing it amongst ourselves. Oh, let's wait. Behind the scenes, we were talking to the to, to, to those responsible, especially the health minister. That please, I mean, oh, you see, we're waiting. You see, look, you're waiting for all 307 so that there will be fanfare, jamboree, and you cut sword. And uh, I mean, in an election year, I mean, do we value human lives? I mean, why should we reduce politics to to to, to such a bizarre level? So we waited for several months okay. and 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 we had no choice especially after we had the honorable minister for finance in the 2020 budget delivery say that they will be uh, commissioned in 2020 and we said no i mean this is now unacceptable it's, it's we, 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 we 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 will just not live with this and our ranking member on the health committee took the press, the uh, parliamentary press right. call yeah. to where they are packed. It's just, you know, yeah. um, a, a few meters walk and uh, gave
a three-day ultimatum. There was no politicization. Nothing over. has happened I, I would, I would, I would, I would have thought that the minority would rather be commended for drawing attention and raising these matters. You see, we need high standards, my brother, in this country. And we need to restore public confidence. Right. And let us be mindful that, you see, life lost can never be regained. And we come into public office, you know, at the behest of the people, and we are here to serve them. We are here to save lives. We are here to do our best to ensure that this country gets better. And so we should even be, it should not, when it comes to healthcare, it should not be business as usual. There should not be a lackadaisical approach. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't show insensitivity. If there is any sector that those are not the qualities that should be at play, it should be the health sector. Okay. And finally, if you come with me to page 184 of the 2020 budget, yeah. paragraph 1028, under the Ministry of Health, it states, and I quote, Mr. Speaker, to improve upon emergency preparedness okay. and service delivery mm. at all levels, all regions developed emergency preparedness plans okay. and established functional rapid response teams. Okay and establish functional rapid responses. So I heard my good friend, Dr. Janssen, the General Secretary of the Ghana Medical Association, saying that we should you know, allow government to put in place the systems and all of that. If this paragraph, because the, gov the government was reporting on work done in 2019, the 2019 performance, and then the outlook for 2020. So this is under the 2019 performance. You say in paragraph 1028 that you've put in place all the emergency preparedness plans, right. and you've, est you've established functional rapid response teams. Mm -hmm. So if you have done all of this, if what you, have, what you have put here in the budget, you've established the structures, what excuse can there be for these 98 ambulances packed and we say we are waiting for, 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 for the rest. We're waiting for 2020. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for president to cut sword. Do we need that? Do we need to do all of that? I mean, even those of us in, in small districts, the three ambulance, it was only one that there was some presentation. The others, when the Tagaji one came in Northdown, we just handed it over. It's working. The Bato one is, is working. You see, what matters? We should take we should take pride Life. in the fact that these um, these ambulances are working and lives are being saved. I mean, all the excuses that we are we are giving, they are not tenable and, I, and, 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 they, and they don't make sense. And I, it doesn't it doesn't show that we value human lives and it doesn't reflect on us well. It doesn't. We should, I, we should I, I have made a suggestion it. to government to distribute the ambulances and if they like contractors will go around yeah. take videos do a documentary and come and show yeah but but doc let me let me put this to you the conversation about the emergency response plan the rapid response has come up so many times i remember that when the uh uh air tremor happened around the wager area the president directed nadbo to bring an emergency response plan i'm yet to see that plan but the conversation now is that, well, if you go elsewhere, like you, you both have traveled out, you will see uh, an emergency response team comprising the NADMO, there's fire, you know, it's a multifaceted, mm -hmm. you know, group that comes together to form it. Do we need that or should we operate in the pockets of empire that we're operating mm -hmm. where everybody is holding on to mm -hmm. a TEF mm -hmm. and it becomes a big problem for us? Yeah, so um, let me make it clear that the efforts put in by this government to procure these 307 ambulances that are fit for purpose obviously will not be um, washed away or undermined by the same government okay. in unnecessarily delaying the release of these ambulances. What I will use this platform to urge the ministry to do is to make sure that we don't necessarily wait for the full complement, but to roll out as immediately each ambulance is validated as being fit for okay. use, having met the specifications. But it is not a deliberate attempt mm. to unnecessarily delay 
and score political points. I think, I even believe that, and we know the president is aware, the minister is aware, that we score greater points if you release it early okay. and not late. Mm -hmm. So I would also, like the Dr. Yancey said, uh, we, we ask that the processes should be expedited. I've always advised the ministry to let their communication flow. Give us timelines. You are doing some things. What are you doing? Let the details come. It helps. It's part of management. You know, sometimes you can be doing a wonderful job. If you are not communicating on the <coughs> procedure, you can get backlash for doing the right thing. Yeah. So I would encourage they, them. They, so, so how do we juxtapose that with free SHS? We couldn't wait for the dormitories, the classrooms, the exercise books, the yeah. teachers, everything else. Yeah. We started because we yeah. said it's important. Then we come to uh, the lower primary yeah. or basic school. Yeah. They don't have textbooks as we speak. Yeah. The teachers don't have their manuals. Yeah. But we went ahead. We yeah. said it is yeah. important yeah. we start. And now they are not going to have yeah. end of term exam. What is keeping us in this particular one? And that's yeah. what I've been trying to understand. Like, and and then you will be yeah. told, oh, we need to look at it and see, we need to get it done. There are, there are two things. I asked the question. Yeah. When we ordered the ambulances, yeah. did we not know that ambulances will come with all these things and yeah. that if it was paramount, we needed to have done Johnny, that as a Like I said, Johnny, um, I am not interested in giving reasons why it's okay that ambulances remain there. I'm rather interested in education and information. If you have given us information, that it takes two days for the supplier to tell us that they've met specifications. I think, I, and I use the example of we, that experience we've had as a country yeah. with the ones that were procured yeah. when Sebefia was yeah. minister. My brother, it's just, it's less than four years ago. Yeah. What came? The agency that we pay, we have trained to tell us that this is fit for people, Ghana Ambulance Service, went to inspect and said, don't ever take this to any facility for usage. So the point I'm making is that you don't have to use unlimited period. Right. But at the same time, you need some time to uh, uh, validate. Okay. And uh, there are things I've said here, I've recommended to the ministry, like you are saying, let's get this rolled out in phases, and not, if it's possible. I don't have all the information. Right. Maybe I might be told that doctor, because of reasons ABC, if your position all right. But being a physician who appreciates that delay can lead to death, mm -hmm. whatever they are doing, I also ask that it is done in an expeditious manner. Okay. The ambulances should go in phases if right. it's possible. Now, not more. Luckily for me, I happen to have done some course at uh, GAFC, that's okay. Ghana Forces. Yeah. And it was in staff college. Yes, it was in conflict management. And Johnny, you'll be surprised to know that we have the structures already similar to what you have in the developed world. So where is it? Exactly. And not what did a presentation where you have a team, the police comes in terms of disaster when there's an emergency. The police is there, the municipal assembly person is there. Army even has a role Absolutely. to play. 48 engineers and some units, mm -hmm. they have a role to play. The police, the fire, and then the, 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 the health directorate in okay. that region. So all these things are there. But as a country, we are good at putting in place the policy and structures. Because people don't frequently see all these people appearing at the scene. Okay. I use the word frequently because sometimes they do. When we had a plane. Even circle disaster. Exactly. Mm -hmm. When we had a plane crossing the line at 37. I mean, we had the guy who did the, uh, the team, the supervision, the right, leader. Right. He did a presentation. He was there. The police came. A fire came to make sure that nobody comes around and all. So we have these systems, but they must be efficient and the, regular. The, the question yeah. that comes to mind immediately is that, look, all these, uh, the military, the police, fire service that come to help yeah. are ad hoc. No, really, is for what way? So, for so what, yeah, for there's what? an original NADMO staff. Yeah. My, my problem with that is how we have always parted it with party boys and girls. No, no, but, okay. That, Who that qualifies to get Jenny, into Jenny. an emergency response team? Jenny, I mean, and what kind of training do they yeah. get before they start wearing those Jenny, green and, and Jenny, orange vests ask, ask for the, and parading themselves as emergency response see, As for the party things. You, you are a doctor. That's I, what I'm asking you. No, I'm this. When you, you see, when you bring them in, they have a way of... Uh, it shifts the whole discussion. What how, I want, how does I'm, it shift I'm, I'm it? Coming. What I want us to take some comfort in is that, number one, when someone is taken or employed at NADMO, whether they are PNC, PNC, MPP, or NDC, they go through training. 
we call it basic requisite training. Okay. Number two, they don't work on their on their own. Even after the standard operating procedures, they also have supervisors as part of the institution. So, so a basic not both staff can resuscitate somebody who they, they go through basic training. They can. They, of Do you course. Know this you see, what what I what I would say is that you just uh, informed us, and I know that because of the training I had. The NADMO staff should know that as one of the uh, extras, but he does not go to uh, an emergency place alone. Okay. By the yeah. time he reaches the scene, somebody must they, have been exactly, there. the paramedic should also be there. The fireman must be there. The police officer must be there. So there is an incident report. But that, that's on paper. No, no, but, but like I'm saying, we've had this training. I mean, you know, training is an ongoing process. Okay. We must make sure that even with physicians, every year, I'm supposed to attend some minimum number of program before yeah. they renew my license. Right. So, even if you had CPR training two years ago, yeah. if you've not had any emergency to apply it, it's, it waits. Exactly. It rose. Yeah. So, I think what we should encourage in our discussions is that the training must be regular okay. and there must be evidence of the training. Okay. Not more must be able to tell us that their staff of, let's say, staff strength of 500, 80% okay. went through the training. Right. The venue was at a callable okay. emergency okay. but we must get this report so that we are assured okay. that when emergencies come up they can act okay so stepping emergency rapid response have we done what we need to do doc says there's a structure do you see the structure their budget also claims that there is a structure and yet when you ask them to distribute ambulances they tell you that oh you know the structures are not in place mm -hmm. we have to uh, put the structures in place. But I want to come from a different angle, okay. which has been the overall policy of this government uh, when it comes to the health sector. Okay. The, the government has been shambolic. They have been abysmal when it comes to health care. Aren't you hitting too hard? I am not. Because look at the abandoned health, proje health projects, health facilities. I've seen WHO estimates mm -hmm. of about $1.5 billion yeah. worth of projects mm -hmm. that have been abandoned from Kumewu Tepa, uh, Bank of Ghana Hospital, mm -hmm. University of Ghana Hospital. Look at the agitations that mm -hmm. it had to take. So, you see, the ambulances saga is mm -hmm. not an isolated matter. Right. You see an attitude that is just nonchalant. I mean, really, we, we just don't care. That has been the attitude of government. I mean, why did they have to take agitations? Look at the uh, University of Ghana Hospital, a Quartina uh, Hospital, the, the, the only one in West Africa. And, and I'm told that it's, you will find up to five of that in the whole of Africa, mm -hmm. you know. And yet, that University of Ghana student had to pick it. People had to demonstrate. Mm -hmm. You saw civil society organizations had to team up with the media. That please, open up. And you remember the initial excuses. Oh, you know, there's no generator. Then the media went there, exposed the uh, health minister. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, you know, not really complete. Now we are told that uh, they are... They've operationalized the place under 10%. The last time I was reading a report from the health committee uh, at plenary, it's, 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 it's under 10% under utilization. You know, you've, you've had chiefs and, and community leaders complain across the country. I mean, projects that should have been completed, some of them by March 2017 or close of 2017. We are in 2019. 2020 beckons and and you don't see any 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 you know seriousness mm. so i say that this government's overall outlook and conduct when it comes to the health sector mm. has been has been has been totally shown so you, you don't want to give them it, any credit 307 where, ambulances uh they are they are Taking very good care Look, of the nurses and doctors. I will, I will have been, I will have been the first uh, to commend them if these ambulances had uh, arrived. Because what is the use of an ambulance if it is packed? I would have commended them if, upon arrival, 
maximum two or three days, everything is inspected, is checked, is, the validation is done, and it is released for the people to use. I mean, and as you said, TV3 can be commissioned to go do documentaries. Mm -hmm. and you can show it every day if it is about uh, a recommendation for mm -hmm. the government, though uh, it is our money that is being used. Mm -hmm. you, you see, so I, I am asking myself, why is it that the president has allowed this to happen? And this is a president. The president expects this, the ministers this, this, to this, act. This, this, That's why this, he appointed them. This, this is a president who, who does not even like to um, reshuffle his team. Doesn't he? Doesn't like to. How, how uh, do you know that? Uh, because because really, I mean, uh, you can just tell if you look at all the presidents we've had in this fourth republic. He's one that has virtually left left. You, and, you and, don't change the winning team, do you? And and. Winning team, what are they winning on? What are they delivering? When, when, when you saw one of the chiefs, I think, in Kumewu, mm. virtually practically go on their knees and beg that please come and finish our, our hospitals all over. I mean, Bekwai, Tepa, um, uh, 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 Tema, just name them all over the place, you know, and it, and, and, and it has to take agitations, I mean, public spirited campaigns mm. before ministers do their work and even the communication when you have you have you have reached out to them the way they speak and will just you know rubbish it no empathy no responsibility no sense of agency so the entire gamut if you look at the entire system look another area that we should be paying attention Properly. is medical equipment when was the last time we did an inventory okay. i mean if I consider what, as a member of parliament, I've had to be doing in my constituency. I ask myself, look, if other MPs are not doing that, if, and we have a Ghana Health Service. Mm. I mean, will you believe that the Bator Catholic Hospital, the hospital of over how, how many decades in existence, you know, things had become so bad that they didn't even have incubators. The only two incubators they have now, I had to provide they them. Even call a book, you know, improvises yeah, these you days. You know, theater beds. They use fluorescent, you know, fluorescent theater lights. Theater beds, I had, to, I, had to, I had to assist with that. You know, uh, cervical cancer screening equipment and, and all that. If you see, uh, over the last two years, I've made donations in medical equipment of not less but, but than... But somebody will not, say, not, it didn't start today, It didn't start today. Yeah, I'm not saying it started I mean, today. You my, see, my you brother see, you need to... five uh, incubators for Kolebu, my love foundation. Mm -hmm. And as of the time we mm -hmm. went there, this is about six, seven years ago, mm -hmm. they were using fluorescent tubes and, you know, they are, so, the nurses so, had improvised and they were, they were trying to save the lives of the children. So, it was so sad. Yeah, I mean, very sad. So I agree with you that it didn't start today. That's what I'm talking about. What systems have you been to? Is it systems elsewhere? Systems work. They have a maintenance regime. They have inventory that is taken annually to know which equipments are still in good shape. Mm -hmm. All these equipments, you know that they have lifespans. Right. You know, after three years, some five years, mm -hmm. seven years, you have to change them. What is the plan for that? So that it, it doesn't have to be ad hoc. So we rely on benevolence of others. Okay. Uh, some people who really is not their responsibility, but they have to step in okay. uh, because of you know public spiritedness to help. So you look at the entire health system okay. and you, you are not inspired. You, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't feel that we are valuing human lives in this country. And and look, the 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 the, the truth has to be said that this government, when it comes to the health sector, and indeed, I wonder which sector. Okay. It, 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 look, look, every sector. I mean, look at roads. We allow, we left the roads to just deteriorate in three years. And then we now are talking about 2020 year of roads. You know how much it's going to cost us? Okay. The cocoa roads, which was abandoned. In the education sector, you... you, you, you allow you, allow, you, allow, you, him, allow you, him, you, him just, to have... No, just 10 seconds. You, you roll out a new standard-based curriculum without textbooks. And now you're saying that... The textbooks are in print, we are told. In, in, in print for how long? I mean... It, 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 is, it is. It is. It is. So, so, so all of this. Some, no, some all of you. this. All, all of this comes to leadership. Okay. Leadership. You see, when the leadership. Allow him to take the two minutes. Leader, leadership. 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 Leadership is not clear. It's not visionary. It's not pragmatic. It's not solution oriented. Okay. You see it 
all of this we are discussing so, so because is just Doug symptoms. Is, because symptoms Doug is your of junior, you are willing to take symptoms of poor leadership. No, <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he agrees with me. So. <laughs> so, you know, uh, we, we this government completed some of the hospitals that had been started during the NDC era. If you look at the paragraph one zero three one of the budget, twenty twenty budget. Now, construction of a district hospital at Kwabinya was completed and handed over in September. Five polyclinics at Sege, Obojo, Ashaman, Botiano, Oduman were all completed and commissioned. These were started in their era. So the infrastructure that was left behind, we've not abandoned them. But it's capital. You find the capital to make sure that you complete them. Now, what, what do you say to the fact that they say revenue was mobilized for most of these contracts? No, no, no. I mean, some of them... And they were dedicated no, some of, funding. No, no, no. Yes. Some of, but if you watch the timeline, some of these projects should have been completed somewhere in about President Kufo, in fact, the Eurojet facility, the money for most of these ones I've quoted okay. were procured during President Kufo. The implementation started during NDC time. They should have been completed way before 2016. Right. But we've had some delays and, you know, our contractual obligations and all that. Now, if you look at the maternity block at Konfanochi, yeah. this was, uh, it was left during a champion's time. Right. Look at the number of governments that have passed. This government has, it came to Parliament, some is aware, about close to 300 plus million euros. We are going to call it a 600 bed facility. Okay. So we are minded to put resources in infrastructure. The last time the president visited Kolibu, you know what happened? No. Fortunately for Kolibu or unfortunately, the days he sat on, he was looking right at the obstetric block. Wow. It's a block that has concrete slabs hanging and falling. Really? I'm telling you. Kolibu? Yes. He was so sad. That when he was asked to make a speech, he didn't say anything. He said what he saw had, you know, his spirit was dumping. dumping and the only way he got some comfort was that the health minister told him we were working on the facility to do a complete, it will be bring, like brought it down, down and, and a new one built. And as I speak, in, the facility has been prepared. It's coming from the German government. It will come before us. It's been captured in the budget. Both the obstetric block, the surgical block okay. is also one of those blocks that's very exactly very yes, old. Yeah. Very old. It's going to be refurbished. We are getting the urology. Look, I got a call from one of the senior staff. They told me, Doc, these things we've seen in the budget, we are praying all comes to pass or starts in 2020. It's a long time we were giving attention. So I mean, I don't. But, 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 dog, to be fair, yeah. these uh, projections yeah. are because you hope to get a certain amount of money yeah. in revenues. You have no, 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 no. Have, the, the, These are facility based. These are facilities. It's not GOG funded. Okay. It's facility. But, but they yeah. have prerequisites as well, satisfied. Yeah, of, of, of course. As for loans, once they are, cap it's been captured in the budget. Okay. So it's part of the, 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 the debt the stock that okay. we have. So, I mean, this is a government that is minded. And I always say all the time concrete doesn't take care of patients. Okay. You need personnel to go in there. Okay. And most of the facilities that were built during the NDC time, because of the sort of freeze that was on employment, you had a situation where, look, as we speak, University of Ghana Medical Center, Clarence has given about 300 staff. They have more optimal operation. They will need no less than 1,000 people. So we are making the effort also with HR, human resource. And so... But we are exporting medical staff now. No, no, because we have a lot. Okay. We have a lot, but it's the ability to pay. And I say it all the time. With This government has given clearance to close to 55,000 staff mm -hmm. in two years. It's been... Very, very significant. 5,000. That's 75 percent of our total population in the health sector. No, yeah, oh, yeah, the class. Kolebu alone had 600 nurses. At the board meeting, one person was like, Are you sure? I see the director of nursing was the one who gave the statistics. So, so you're saying that as of the time that the previous government was, the only 25 percent of our health personnel were. were no, 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 the point I'm making is 55,000. No, 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 that's what it means. Look, I have the statistics. This, this no, 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 look, no, 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 no. Look, this I mentioned the breakdown in parliament during the debate. Mm -hmm. This is coming from HR. Nurses, pharmacists, technicians. Kolebu, our total nursing strength was 1,200. Okay. In one year, we've been given 600. That's 1,008. Exactly. So, look, huge numbers are being clear. And some of them, please uh, forgive me, but some of the nurses I know personally have sat home for a long time. Wow. It's because clearance wasn't coming. So, this is a government that is making some effort. But we admit that there is still a lot to it's, be done. Some says, finally, there's, there's a leadership problem. Do you agree? You know, leadership the, the leadership where, where people can be you, you know what, order. You know what? The leadership usually tempts me to do comparative analysis. It can lead to places where Sami will be quite uncomfortable. For eight years, we for eight years we succeeded in bringing ambulances that were not fit to take patients. That is serious leadership deficit. Okay. Now at least the ambulances are here. We are looking at how to release them. Compare the two. Release them. Uh, release them. 
you. Thank you very much. Hi, and we had four double, four double roads. <laughs> roads that were nice on paper. We did two a uh, year, they were all gone. Thank you. The Honorable uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Bernard Okubo is a member of parliament for the Lejokuku uh, <laughs> constituents in the Greater Accra region. Was he on the typical of the MPP? They call him Lejokuku Jay-Z. Uh, he hopes to claim the second one. So I understand his road is being fixed. So he's the happiest man uh, in, in Ghana at this point. And also, Honorable Sam Okujetua Blackwa is the ranking member of the Committee uh, for Foreign Affairs in Parliament and also the member of Parliament for the Northtown Constituents. Gentlemen, thank you very much indeed for, for your time. And, <laughs> and uh, well, it's day 22 since we started our campaign to get the ambulances moved from the frontage of the State House. We won't stop until we see them move. Uh, and we want uh, action to be expedited on, on that particular one. We have heard the excuses, we have heard the explanations, but we're saying that there is certainly no justification for that pregnant woman who is being uh, taken to the hospital in a tricycle this morning. There is absolutely no justification. So, Mr. President, good morning to you. Auntie Becky, uh, good morning to you. Mr. Health Minister, good morning to you. How are comes the Minister for Special Initiatives and Development? Good morning to you. The ambulances don't belong there. They belong in the hospitals and the health facilities to save lives because the word ambulance comes from the word ambulaire, which means to move about. Why are they static? Good morning. Bye.